So a lot of conversations I've had with homeowners recently have been about them wondering if it's a good idea to sell their home right now or not. And you may be having some of the same thoughts. So let's talk about that for a minute while considering some recent home sales. I'm Kyle Wynn with Sage Realty, and this is your market update for Riverside County for the month of August, 2021. It's a common question that every homeowner is going to have to think about at some point. When is it the best time for me to sell my house? Now there may be external factors related to family or jobs, relocating for things like that, but otherwise most people just want to try to make a profit when they sell their home. Now let's dig into some data and maybe this will help you decide if it's the time for you to sell right now or not. In the month of August 2021, we saw almost 4,000 new listings hit the market. Whereas in July, the month before, we saw almost 4,200 new listings. Now this has trended down just a little bit over the last few months, which is pretty common and I'll get into that here in just a minute. Now as for closed listings, in August of 2021, we saw just over 3,300 which was down from July as well at over 3,500. And this isn't some indication of some imminent crash coming. This is actually pretty normal for this time of year since most people tend to move before the end of summer. So here's some proof that's gonna tell you that the market is still hot and it's still great for sellers. The median number of days on market that we saw in August of 2021 was only nine days. And in fact, it's been nine days or less since April of this year. And the median days on market that we've typically seen over the last five years or so has been between 40 and 60 days. So this is telling us that homes are still selling very quickly. Now in terms of month supply for August of 2021, we were at only 1.6 months, which has actually been holding pretty steady since March of this year, and in fact has been below two months for this entire year of 2021. And over the last 10 years or so, what we've typically seen is that the days on market has been between five and six months. So this is telling us that inventory is still very low for the number of buyers that we have out there right now. Now for the average sale price here in Riverside County, in the month of August we were at If you found this video to be helpful or if you just even think that this new studio set is better than what we had before, let me know by liking this video and subscribing to the channel. In the month of August, we were at $583,000, which was down from July at $591,000 and down even further from June at $606,000. Now, it seems like the average sale price here in Riverside County peaked back in May or June, but don't panic. This is not some indication of a downward spiral or imminent market crash. The average sale price does tend to cool off toward the end of summer. And I have some proof for you. In April of 2018, the average sale price here was 433,000, whereas in August it declined to 400,000. In April of 2017, the average sale price was 400,000, until August of 2017, that declined to $379,000. So you can see that this year we're seeing a similar decline in the average sale price as what we saw in 2017 and 2018. This shows us that the average sale price does tend to decline toward the end of summer. So I just gave you a whole bunch of data from not only this year, but also from the last few years. And I know you're wondering, all right, Kyle, what does all this mean? Is it the right time for me to sell my house or not? Well, so if you're trying to maximize your proceeds as a seller, you may have missed that opportunity for 2021, but don't worry because we're only talking about a difference of a few percent at this point, which really isn't very significant considering that the average sale price here in Riverside County has increased by 38% in just the last two years. And at the end of the day, homes are still selling very quickly because we do not have very much inventory and we still have tons of buyers out there. So this is still a great opportunity for sellers. You're still gonna have a very easy time selling your home very quickly and for quite a bit more than maybe you've even expected. Now, if you found this video to be helpful or if you just even think that this new studio set is better than what we had before, let me know by liking this video and subscribing to the channel. And I'd also love to hear from you. So if you have a comment, go ahead and drop that below and I will see you with a new video next week.